Hi, I'm Jamie Easton. I'm in the Bodybuilding.com kitchen, and I'm going to show you today how I make my lemon protein bars. I'm going to need two large bowls, one really big one, and a medium-sized bowl. In the large bowl, we're going to use, we're going to put in our dry ingredients. Right here, I have a cup of oat flour. Oat flour is just ground up oatmeal. Um, if you, you can buy it at the grocery store in the healthy section, but if you don't have it, you can actually grind up your own in the blender. Um, I, I would recommend using the quick cooking version. It's a, it tends to be less chewy and easier to grind up. But do know that this gets really fine. It's kind of hard to get it as fine in your own blender. So you might need a little more than a cup, maybe like a cup and three quarters or a cup and a half. So here's our cup. Then we've got two scoops of a vanilla whey protein. You can use any version that you want. Um, I always just look for low sugar, low carb, um, lower calories, and as clean as possible. I, I usually do lactose free, that kind of thing. But it's two scoops. And then we've got a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and a half of a teaspoon of baking soda. The salt will help the baking soda react. Then we also have our special ingredient, which in this case we've, we're using Crystal Light, but you can use any lemon variety that you can find. But this is the drink mix, and this actually um, is the, I guess, the quantity you need to make a two quart, um, a two quart jug of, of lemonade. So I typically like to use a different version that has um, no artificial sweeteners in it. This one does have aspartame in it, which is not always the healthiest, definitely not perfectly clean. So just know that and uh, try and look for a version that is a little bit cleaner. But you're gonna dump that into your dry ingredients. And we're gonna mix it up. set that aside and trade out my medium bowl. And in this one we're going to put in our wet ingredients. We've got four egg whites. You can separate the eggs, you can save the yolk if you want to or throw it away. Stubborn egg. Let's see. There's two. at breaking eggs, you can use the liquid egg whites. Um, just make sure if you use the liquid egg whites that you do less than the equivalent of four egg whites, more like three egg whites, because it tends to be um, a lot more liquid-like, and then your batter will be really runny. All right, that was number four. Rinse my fingers off. Okay, and to our egg whites, we're gonna add our sweetener. Um, the Crystal Light has some sweetener in it, so we don't need too much. This is a half a cup of Splenda. You can do less if you wanna do less, or you can use an alternative sweetener of your choice. Gonna mix that together really well. Wanna get it till it's like kind of frothy. Looks pretty good. And then I'm going to add um, applesauce. I'm using the baby food version of applesauce. I've got two of them here. Just look again for a lower sugar variety. These do have um, a considerable amount of sugar in them, but they're, uh, like this one I think is 11 grams. But remember this is gonna make um, eight, or I'm sorry, it's an eight by eight inch pan. It's gonna make 16 squares, so the 16 squares, you know, divided by, I guess this is 22, you're looking at, you know, just a little, little more than a gram of sugar for each one. It's not too, too bad. These are a treat. Here's a second one. And this applesauce serves to replace the butter and oil in, in your baking dishes. You can do it in nearly any baking dish you'd like. Okay. And because I like mine a little bit more moist, um, I'll often add just one additional jar of water, too. So I'm going to do that now. There we go. 
make sure when you get the water that you don't add hot water because this is eggs and you don't want to cook your eggs. So we're going to mix this up really well. And now we want to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. All the liquid out. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna mix these up. And I have already preheated the oven to 350 degrees, so it should be all ready for us. Now, if you notice when I'm mixing this, it's kind of hard to see, but it gets a little bubbly. That's that drink mix, so don't worry about it. it doesn't make the, the cake bubbly. All right. That's all mixed together. I've got my 8x8 eight eight inch Pyrex dish, so I'm going to spray that, get it ready for the batter. I use the butter spray. I use that on pretty much all of my baking dishes. And you do want to spray it pretty well. Applesauce can be a little sticky in the batter. I'm going to clean up the edges just so that my, my dish doesn't get cruddy from baking it. All right, pour the batter in. Scrape it all out. And depending on your oven, you're going to put this in for um, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. It's a big difference because of altitude, of you know, however efficient your oven is. So we'll put these in. The middle rack's best. I'm gonna set the timer. We'll go for, I think we'll split the difference and we'll do, actually we'll, we'll do less, do 23. Don't wanna over bake these. They're actually pretty good when they're a little gooey. Okay, and that's it. So in a little while, we'll check them and we'll see how they turned out. All right, I think they're done. Check and see. You can put a toothpick in and see if they're done, but I can usually tell by eyeball and I've made these a few times. Looks pretty good. You can either um, eat these warm or cold. I actually like them really a lot cold, so, but. Anyway, that's about it. That's our lemon cake protein bar. Thanks for watching me today on bodybuilding.com and hopefully you'll come back and check out more recipes.